What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mara. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell just so that way you are notified for every video that I have coming up because you don't want to miss it because we got another hair challenge coming up. Okay. So definitely make sure you subscribed if you like to grow long and natural healthy hair with us okay so in today's video i'm actually going to be doing something a little different again i get asked this question so many times in person and on instagram what do i put on my skin because it always just looks so clear so i'm going to be telling you guys today what my current favorites are because apparently it's looking real bright and clear these days i don't want to make this video too long even though we got quite a few products but let's just get right into this video for our cleansers i use two i either would use the glow recipe cleanser which on Honestly, came with a little trial and I'm still using it I alternate between products and how my skin is that day so if it's dry I'm gonna use products that's more towards moisturizing if it's looking a little dull then I'm gonna use something that's more so for brightening I really like this one because for some reason it really just makes my skin feel so clean like I don't I don't know how to explain it like it's a cleanser but it's just I don't know some cleansers just don't make your skin feel that clean and this one really does and plus I use it to remove makeup so that's also a plus as well this one I've actually had on my channel multiple times so we're not really gonna go into this one it only has a few ingredients and it's all natural so whatever you see here on the product list that's all the ingredients that is in this product all right so after I cleanse my face I actually go in with a toner these are the two that I only have. I only got two toners now that I think about it. Um, so some days I would go in with the ordinary glycolic acid. Other days when I just feel like my skin is just eh, I would go in with this one. On the days that I go in with the ordinary and I just apply it with like a little cotton pad, it actually makes my skin feel extremely soft. So that's why I really like this one because sometimes my skin is just so dry, it just feels so rough. So I kind of go in with this and it also removes like all the dirt and everything. So for this one, I definitely go in in the morning and at night. It does kind of recommend for you to use it only in the evening. I'm not sure if it's because like of like the sun or something like that, but I go in probably two times a day just because I feel like my skin needs that extra softness. Whereas this one, I feel like it's more so along the lines of moisturizing as well. So in comparison to the two, this one makes my skin feel soft. This one blurs my skin, but it also kind of moisturizes as well. So on to the next skincare step, we have masks. Even though they're masks, I actually use them different. So with this one, you guys actually seen it on one of my previous videos. This is the Team Me Detox Mask. And for this one, like I said, I really do like it because it's all natural. Some of the ingredients in this one, it actually does help with brightening. So like I said, I do have products that I alternate between if my skin feels dull or if it needs moisturization and it's just looking dead dry. I would go in with this one if my skin is just looking dull because I've noticed that when I use this, my skin actually really does look much brighter as you guys have seen in the previous video. And for this type of mask, because it is a clay, this one is more so like if I have more time at home to actually really take care of my skin um so i would probably let this sit on for about 25 to 30 minutes sometimes it sits on for 40 minutes it honestly just depends on what i have to do so definitely if you're looking for a mask that you can just put on when you're in the house then you can definitely try like a clay mask like this um but like i said this is more so along the lines of when i don't really have anything to do i don't have anywhere to go out the next mask that i have is the glow recipe mask obviously i I got the whole line at this point like it's just so moisturizing so for this mask I believe it actually tells you to like uh, rinse it off after 25 minutes or something like that or 15 minutes I actually leave mine on overnight and with this one it's actually really weird because it's more of like a jello texture as well I sleep with the side scarf over top of my pillowcase but sometimes I just get lost in the sauce at night and my face is like actually brushing against my cotton pillowcase um, cotton is drying and if you don't know cotton is drying to your hair so it's obviously going to be drying to your skin as well next we have my favorites I love serums like anything that's a serum I love it the first one that I have is also by Timmy it's the vitamin C tea infused serum so I've been using it okay so for this one it's obviously formulated with vitamin C if you don't know vitamin C it also has a lot of other benefit and if you don't know the benefits of vitamin C let me just break it down to you real quick okay because it's, it's a lot 
Like I said, if I wake up and my skin appears dull, I'm going to reach for a product that has that brightening aspect just to add a little bit more of glow back into my skin. It also helps reduce the appearance of wrinkles. I'm not quite there yet, so I don't really use it to help reduce wrinkles. But for those who may have like crow's feet or they have like smile lines, you can definitely use vitamin C and it helps reduce the appearance of those a little. Vitamin C also helps with the appearance of your skin. My main reasoning for using products that are formulated with vitamin C is because I have dark spots on my face. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have dark spots on my face. So vitamin C is actually supposed to help reduce the appearance of dark spots. But for me, sometimes I'm actually just really impatient when it comes to trying to lighten up these marks because I feel like they got on my face so quick and now it's hard to get them off. So, so that's why I'm using this vitamin C serum because I can definitely tell a difference. Like I said, with skincare products, it's kind of different aside from hair care products because with hair care, you can tell right away if it's not going to work or if you don't like it. With skincare, you actually have to try it out for a while, which is what I've been doing and I've been seeing a difference. So again, like I said, that's why I am continuing to use it. Next serum that I have as well is by The Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5G. <laughs> 5G? Oh my god, 5G. Okay, it's 5% plus EGCG and <laughs> you know what that means. But for this one, I only use it like under my eyes because it's supposed to help with puffiness. I've been working from home for too long and I literally sleep until the very last minute until it's time for me to clock in and I'm tired of looking at a computer screen. So my face, my eyes, like everything under here, I stay up late as well. Everything under here is just getting puffy on me. Like I cannot, I'm not used to this life. So now I'm like forced to use a product that helps with the puffiness. So the next product that I have is actually not a product, but it's more so like a tool, it's a skincare tool. And it's my skincare brush, as you guys can see. So for this one, I really do try to go in at least twice a week because my skin, like I said, some days is dry and I wake up and my skin is just like peeling in between my eyebrows, peeling under my eyebrow hair, so I just have to go in with an exfoliator. So with this exfoliating brush is by Duval, and when you turn it on, it has one setting, because I don't need to get crazy with my exfoliating, okay? Sometimes I over exfoliate, and then when I'm done, and when I'm done and I go to put on like my serum or my moisturizer, my skin actually feels irritated. So sometimes I do personally just over exfoliate, but with this exfoliating brush, I actually really do love it because not only is the brush head detachable, but it actually comes with three other pieces. So I have on now my exfoliating brush and mainly I just keep it on the exfoliating brush. And then we have the cleansing brush, but like I said, I more so use the exfoliating. And then we have the body exfoliating brush. So really it's just a bigger size brush of the face exfoliator, but it's obviously for your body. So if you want to do like your arms or your legs or your knees or your feet, it's up to you because you got it. So you actually don't have to go out and buy a separate product just to exfoliate because the brush comes with four attachments. And the last attachment that I have is the pumice stone. I currently do not use this because I don't have skin to get off my feet. I actually just did a foot peel mask. If y'all don't know what it is, y'all need to look into it because it's real nice. And all of my old skin is now gone. So there's nothing really to exfoliate on my feet right now. So I really do love my little brush set right here because like I said, not only are you exfoliating, but you can change like the different attachments for like a deeper clean if you want. The last two products to make up my favorites as of right now are moisturizers. These are the very last products that I use at night um, so the first moisturizer that I have again is by glow recipe if I'm not already using the moisturizing mask by glow recipe or another product I'm gonna go in with this um, so for this one it's a very light moisturizer and you don't need a lot but this one pretty much lasts all day for me so if I'm not wearing makeup some days I will go in with this or depending on what day it is of the week and how my skin is I'll just go in with this at night. The second one that I have is by The Ordinary. This is the Azalic Acid Suspension 10%. So aside from the other products that help get rid of dark marks, I do use this at night as well. So like I said, I'll go in with this at night, either over top of another product or by itself, just depending on what I already use for that day. And honestly, I know that it really does look like a lot of products, but all of these products, these are all of my favorites as of right now. It's either that I'm gonna alternate between days or every other day or every other week or every week. It just depends on, like I said, how my skin is looking 
for that week or for that day it's just pretty much learning your skin and learning which products work and what doesn't so on that note that is all that i have for you today i just shared with you guys what i use on my skin throughout the day throughout the weeks throughout every other day this is everything that i use if my skin is looking bright now you know what it's from if it's looking dull and dry and crusty you know what i'm about to use i do hope you like this video if you found it helpful definitely be sure to give a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and definitely make sure you check the description box just so that way you guys can check out those promo codes to save some money but that is all that i got for you guys today definitely make sure you stay safe and i will see you guys in my next one